So now to Chicago, where actor Jesse Smollett was back on the witness stand saying, quote, there was no hoax. He is sticking to his story that he was the victim of an anti-gay and racist attack, while prosecutors say he staged the whole thing to increase his fame and fortune. CBS's Charlie DeMar has more from the courthouse. Jesse Smollett returned to the witness stand in his own defense, maintaining his innocence. During cross-examination, prosecutors asked Smollett if he recruited one of the Osindaro brothers to fake the attack, to which Smollett replied, As I have said for the past three years, I deny that. That never happened. There was no hoax. Smollett admitted that he changed his story, first telling investigators his attackers were white, but in later interviews said they were pale-skinned. Prosecutors asked if Smollett thought his story would be more credible if he was attacked by white men. Smollett responded, you would have to ask someone who actually planned a fake hate crime. In January 2019, Smollett claims he was assaulted by two men who yelled racial and homophobic slurs. Brothers Ola and Abel Osindaro testified they were paid $3,500 by Smollett to carry out the staged attack. Supporters of Smollett are confident jurors will believe him. Jesse could easily have copped a plea with a slap on the wrist and then moved on with his life. But he chose instead to stand up to injustice. Closing arguments are slated for tomorrow, and then the jury will get this case if convicted Smollett faces up to three years in prison. Nora? Charlie DeMar, thank you.